What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, toneandtitan.com, and these are the best stretches and exercises that you can do to treat your IT band pain. Let's get into them right now. All right, you guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today here on Tone and Titan. As always, I'm excited to be able to share with you a little bit what I know about this topic, this IT band pain, and I hope that it helps you guys out. I hope it helps you out of some of the pain and discomfort that you might be experiencing. If it does, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Okay, IT band pain or IT band syndrome, let's talk about what it is. You've got this big broad tendon that runs down the outside of your leg. It crosses your knee joint and connects right here into the front of your shin. If there's tension in that band, and we'll talk more about that in just a second, what that can do is cause friction down here at the knee joint. With my knee straight, that tendon is in front of my knee, but when I bend my knee, it rolls over that lateral condyle, kind of that big, that big round bone on the outside part of your knee, and comes back here behind your knee. If there's too much tension there, what that does is causes friction in that spot. And if you've got this, you guys, you know it. It's really just point tender right in that area. It feels like someone's got an ice pick stabbing it right into that outside part of your knee. That is IT band syndrome. Now, what do we do about it? Obviously, if there's too much tension in that IT band, the goal is to decrease tension in that IT band. If we loosen that up, we're able to decrease some of that friction. The part that everybody misses out on this, you guys, is that it's a tendon. It's actually a connective tissue. It's a structure that does not stretch. And they've done tests and put this thing under all kinds of stress. And simply put, we can't stretch that thing out. It's not meant to stretch, that's not its purpose. We can't stretch out our IT band. And so one of the common mistakes that I hear is, I try to stretch my IT band out all the time and yet I still have that pain on the outside of my leg you're missing the mark. What we need to do is actually spend our time focusing on stretching the muscles. Muscles are contractile, meaning they contract and relax. We can stretch out a tight muscle. We need to stretch out the muscles that act on the IT band and also strengthen those muscles to just improve the mechanics of where that band, of, of where our knee is and how that band rubs over the outside part of our leg. So those are the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanna to share about four of my favorite stretches four of my favorite strengthening exercises that are gonna help you guys out of some of this pain. Now, the first thing that I always recommend to people is let's foam roll those areas. Let's foam roll some of that tightness out of there. Now, the problem that I see is that not a lot of people know how to foam roll correctly and they just kind of sit down and they just kind of smash over it over and back, over and back, over and back. Sure, that might be effective to an extent, but there's definitely a better way that you can do that. Now, last week I actually shot a video that is all about how to foam roll your IT band the right way in order to maximize your effectiveness. Check the link down below. It's in the description to this video down below. It's also floating around right up here right now. Click on that link that's sitting up there and that will take you to the correct way to foam roll your IT band. That's what I recommend first. Your first step is to foam roll the IT band. Now. What that does, that eliminates a lot of the tension and kind of it, it performs this, what we call a fascial release to a lot of those muscles and, and a lot of that area through that tendon. But if that's all you do, you're not actually doing anything about the cause of the pain. The cause of the pain is that tightness and that weakness. Foam rolling doesn't do anything to provide a long-term fix for those things. We need to supplement the foam roll with the stretches and with the exercises that I'm gonna show you guys right now. So let's jump into them. Four of my favorite stretches, four of my favorite strengthening exercises to help you guys out of this pain. All right, you guys, so let's get into them. Four of my favorite stretches to stretch out, not your IT band, but all of the muscles that are going to interact with your IT band, right? We gotta do it correctly. And so number one, I call it, I guess incorrectly named, an IT band stretch. To stretch out my right side, what I'm going to do is lay on my left side, bend my right leg up, grab it with my hands in this position right here. As I pull it back, so I'm pulling on my leg back, we're getting that quad muscle and we're getting that TFL muscle, both of those that interact on that IT band. Now with my left foot, what I wanna do is actually hook my right knee and then I'm going to pull that down towards the floor. And so I'm pulling here with my right hand and then I'm gonna pull here with my left leg or with push my left foot down towards the ground. You're gonna hold that for a 20 second count and then kind of relax, come out of it and then we're gonna get right back down into that. Just a comfortable stretch through the quad, the front of the hip, even kind of that lateral hip. That's what we're after, three times 20 second holds. 
um, to hit the back, to hit the glute and the hamstring, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to stretch that out. Once One down on the ground, the other one standing up. For the one down on the ground, you're going to need, I tell people, you know, a belt or a towel or a sheet or a rope, anything like that that just doesn't stretch. I don't want you to use TheraBand for this. I've got this uh, stretch out strap, which is really nice. It's got handles all the way down it, makes it a little more convenient. If you're interested in picking one of these up, link to that is down below in the description to this video. What we're going to do, I'm going to put that right around my right foot. Um, again, if I'm trying to stretch out that right side, that's, you know, for the demonstration, um, that's, that's the one that I'm doing. I'm going to lay down on my back, my left leg's out straight, I'm going to keep my right leg straight, and I'm going to pull up as high as that hamstring will allow me to go, which is about right there. That's a pretty good stretch to the back of my leg and the back of my knee. But then we want to bias it to that outside, to that IT band attachment area, that biceps femoris out there on the outside. To do that, I pull to where I can't pull anymore, and then I'm actually going to use my hands to bring that down here towards you guys. You saw me grimace. You saw the discomfort on my face. That's tight on me, you guys. All of a sudden, that biases that stretch to that outside hamstring muscle, and then you're also actually going to feel that up in your glute. And so that's why I like that stretch is because we're basically acting on that entire posterior chain that acts on that IT band. You're going to take it to a comfortable position, hold it for 20 seconds, and repeat that three times. Let me show you how to do a similar stretch in standing. Up. We want to stretch the hamstring. We want to bias it to the outside. You can do that by crossing one foot over the other. If I'm going to stretch out this right hamstring, this right lateral hamstring, this right IT band, what I want to do is cross my left foot over in front of it. Now I'm going to reach down and over towards my right foot. So you'll see what that does is that pops my hip out to the side. So we get that same kind of adduction moment, that same crossover moment. And then as I bend forward, keeping my back straight, I don't want to round forward at my back. I want to keep my back nice and flat, hinge at my hip. And all of a sudden I'm feeling that a ton up here in, in the glute, in that glute medius, but then also all the way down that outside back part of the hamstring, which is what we, where we want that stretch to be. Hold for 20 seconds, repeat three times on that one. Finally, the last exercise, what we're going to do uh, to stretch out that right side, I want you to take a big step over the top of it with your left leg and then push your right hip out to the side as far as you can. What you should feel with that is a big stretch right up here, right through that glute med. It might even sneak down into that IT band if you're really tight. You can enhance this stretch even further. I'm going to push my hip over here to the right. With my right hand, I'm actually going to reach up and over my head in this position, and that is just a really good stretch. I can feel that pulling through my hip and all the way down through that outside of my leg, all the way down into the outside part of my knee. Three times, 20 second holds on that one. Those are your four stretches that I like for this. Let's jump into some of the strengthening activities that are going to help you guys out as well. The first two strengthening exercises I want to show you guys are for your glute group. We're going to work glute max, glute med, and glute min with these. I'll show you on my left leg because that's the one closer to the camera. Obviously, you're going to do this on whichever side you're hurting on. Uh, single leg bridges, you guys. This is how I love to get those glutes activated at home with no equipment. So my left leg is bent, laying down on my back. Left leg's bent, right leg's out straight. Right leg stays straight and rigid. What I'm going to do is contract those left glutes to raise my hip up off of the ground until my right leg is parallel with my left and then come right back down with it. Up, hold, two, three, come right back down with it. You're going to shoot for about a set of 10 of these and then you're going to repeat that three times, about 30 reps. It's a great way to get those glutes fired up and active. Um, with the IT band syndrome, typically it's tightness in the front and weakness in the back that I see. So that's why a lot of these exercises are going to be geared towards strengthening that whole posterior chain. Um, next, let's get into some sideline hip abduction. This is kind of the easier version of this exercise. The next two exercises will be a little bit more difficult versions of this exercise. I'm laying down on my left leg, or excuse me, on my left side. My left leg is bent, my right leg's out straight. I'm going to keep my hips stacked one on top of the other. That means don't let it roll backwards, but try to keep them one right on top of the other. And then I'm going to raise my right heel up towards the ceiling. I don't want you to lead with your foot. We don't want to do this because that's going to fire that TFL. We want to keep that turned off. We want to focus on the glute med, glute min. And so I'm going to roll over kind of to the front and then lead with my heel 
keeping my foot straight. Right now my foot, my toes are pointed straight at you guys as I'm coming up and going down. It's that glute med, those are the muscles that we're after right here. You're gonna do 10, 15, even up to 20 reps on one side. If they're painful on both, do it on both sides. But three sets of 10 to 20. So we're looking for about 30 to 60 reps on this is what you're going to shoot for. To make that a little harder, we're gonna do some exercises in weight bearing. We'll do those right now. One way to take that sideline hip abduction exercise even further is to progress it into a weight bearing position. Now, what we're going to do, I'm gonna stand right here on my right leg, left leg comes up. What I wanna do is let that left hip collapse. And so it kind of juts my right hip out to the side. That's a pretty good stretch, similar to one of those stretches that I showed you guys already. That's a pretty good stretch to the outside. Left hip collapses. And then what we're gonna do is use these right hip abductors to pull that left hip as high as possible and then return nice and slow all the way back down. There's one, there's two. I'm gonna go up to 10 with this. We call this one a hip hike. What you guys will feel is all these little stabilizer muscles in your hip are going to be going crazy with this exercise. Uh, you're gonna take that left hip through as much range of motion as you can. Drop it all the way down, up, down on the side, raise it all the way up as high as you can. You're gonna fill that in those hip abductor muscles. It's a weight bearing activity, so it increases the efficacy and the function of those hip abductor muscles. The last thing that I wanna show you, we're gonna pull out our TheraBand or our resistance loop, or you know, this goes by a million different names. Um, We'll call it a resistance band or a resistance loop for this video. Um, if you guys don't have one of these, they're super cheap to pick up. You can get them in packages. They come in different colors and different resistances. We've got a couple of sets here. What I want to do is leave a link in the description down below. Click on that, you guys, and that's just, it's a super easy, you know, super convenient piece of equipment that you can pick up for your home gym. Um, what we're going to do are some lateral band walks with this. I'm going to put it around both of my ankles. Start kind of over here. If I didn't, if I wasn't worried about staying on the camera, I'd have you know more room to walk. But what we're gonna do, my feet are a little wider than shoulder width right now. We're gonna bend at the knees slightly. I'm gonna take a big step with my leading leg. So it's my left leg is a big step, my right leg is a half step. I don't ever want to let my feet come in more narrow than hip width. So a big step out and a half step over. You'll see also that my knees stay right over my toes. Don't let your knees buckle in like this as you're doing this. So try to stay kind of on the outside of your feet. The emphasis here is those hip abductor muscles. I got one more step. Those hip abductor muscles, that's where you should be feeling it. So big step, half step. Keep your head you know, high, keep your shoulders back as you go back and forth. The goal would be to take about 10 steps to the left and then about 10 steps to the right, and then we're gonna repeat that for three laps. I like that exercise because it's a little more functional. Again, we're weight bearing on it and we're performing this motion against resistance, so it's a great way to really fire up those hip abductor muscles, get those nice and strong to be able to support your knee in a better position, hopefully mitigate some of that IT band pain that you might be experiencing. So there they are, you guys. And so about eight, four of my favorite stretches, four of my favorite strength training exercises that are really gonna help you guys out with some of that IT band pain you might be experiencing. Hope you, I hope that this helped you guys out. I hope you found this beneficial. If you did, smash that thumbs up button down below. Thank you so much for that in advance. If you haven't done so already, I hope you take this chance to actually subscribe to Tone and Titan. You can do that down below. Um, I share a lot of great tips and advice like this, rehab tips, wellness advice, um, healthy workouts, things of that nature. To just My goal is to help you guys to become healthier, stronger versions of yourselves. I hope you take the chance to subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or even suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see from Tone and Titan, please leave that in a comment down below. I'll be happy to get to that as soon as I can. And until next time, we'll see you right back here again on Tone and Titan.